Right, so I bought this USB 3 cable from eBay. It's made by Gator Cable. And I got it today and it uh, turns out that it performs really badly. I get about, well, between 1 and 5 megabytes per second out of this, which is really bad. I get about 30 to 40 times that with a USB 2 cable. So I thought that I would take this apart. So let's chop the end off, shall we? And see what's inside. It does claim to have a proper USB 3 lead on it. However, it's thin, so I don't really know what to expect. It could very well be fully stocked, but something is horribly wrong with it. So we'll see what's inside. It performs very, very bad for what it is, so something isn't right. Good first impressions though, it does have a proper braid, I'll take that back, that's all aluminum, that's kind of crap, okay, not a brilliant start. I can see it actually has a couple of shielded pairs here, so that is good. It actually does appear to be a proper USB 3 cable, however everything's very thin. This was sold as a uh, uh, well phone charging cable, basically. But these power wires, this power and ground wire, are very, very thin. They are basically what would be classed as data wires in a regular USB cable. You see a little focus on that. Sorry, it's a bit dark. And they're very thin, so that's not very brilliant. Um, and these USB 3 pairs are very thin as well. And what I can see through the shielding is that they're not actually twisted. So that could be one of the issues with it performing badly. Let's see if we can manage to cut this shielding up. It's very, very on there, I can tell you that much. Let's so cut it a bit and get it open. It's full of plastic and stuff here, which isn't very encouraging. And that doesn't really want to come off. Let's see here. Okay, we got the plastic sheath off, so now we should have foil, which we do, damn it, let's see if we can, okay, <clears throat> right, so we do have a shielding braid inside of this, and a couple of stupidly thin wires, see so if we can just zoom in on this. So you can see that? Probably not. And the light just turned off, that's lovely of it. But that cable is basically shit. It does have the pairs, it does not have twisted pairs, which is probably why it performs so badly. The uh, USB 2 pair, well it's not really a pair, just a couple of wires, it does not even seem to be twisted either. Let's uh, let's uh, strip it some more and see what it does before the camera battery runs out or something. Because just my luck tonight. <clears throat> wow, that is extremely thin aluminum shielding or aluminum braid. Then it's just a copper shield. No, it does actually have twisted USB 2 pairs, so that's a good thing at least. But it's really bad even as a USB 2 cable, so I don't know what's wrong with this really. I have checked that it's not magnetic. Um, I don't know. Could, but it's, could be that everything is actually aluminum in here. 
I don't really think these conductors are copper. No, they're extremely, extremely soft, so that's probably just aluminum as well. Um, it's not very good for 17 bucks, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, that's a shame. Could be a bad, bad batch or just my one, my cable being bad, but I'm certainly not gonna buy Gator cable anymore. Well, anytime in the future, because this is not good. Not at all. So, yeah. It's shit. There you go.